turns like a dagger The rain falls like a hammer The sky has grown dark But it's not too late The weather crashes down What's lost cannot be found The night is closing But it's not too late 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 The atmosphere is lethal But I will feel no evil Out of two Throats, the first hurrah roared a welcome to the first messenger of death. But then it began to crackle and roar, to sing and howl, and with feverish eyes, each one of us was drawn forward, faster and faster, over turnip fields and hedges, till suddenly the fight began. The fight of man against man. But from the distance, the sounds of a song met our ears, coming nearer and nearer, passing from company to company. And then Valdez busily plunged his hands into our rows. It reached us, and we passed it on. Deutschland! Deutschland! Uber alles! Deutschland! Deutschland! Uber alles!
Gangstadt. I can feel your presence. Chance recognize this man? very talkative, Mikey, okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Mike. Hey, Smithy, Smithy. How are you? Good. Yes? So to what do we owe this visit from the famous Untouchables? Understand the victim's name was Klaus Wagenhalter. That's right. Why is he of interest? Capone Brewmeister. One of his best. Oh, I'll be. Nice guy. Mm. Didn't know he worked for Big Al. He's like a big spokesman for the German community around here. Any witnesses to the murder? No. Janitor works over at the school, found him on his way to work this morning. Do you think it's gang related? Don't know. Could be. How'd he die? Go ahead, take a look. Pretty ugly. He's here. from the stomach to the thorax. A mark of blood across the face, down on the finger. That's his signature. You got any more like this? You let me know. Sure, Mike. Mike, where are you going? I talked to Tony LaPaglia at immigration. Immigration? What does immigration have to do with this? I have no idea. Don't return until you've done what I've asked. The atmosphere is lethal, but I will fear no evil. Oberst Wolfgang Stadt. I was wondering when you'd arrive. I hope you had a pleasant voyage. Uneventful. Who was that creature? The janitor from the university near Braun's laboratory. So, Wagenhalter, that pest, is gone. He had begun following our operatives. He could have ruined everything I've done. Everything you've done? You've done very little. Your janitor has yielded nothing. And yet the months pass by. Do you realize, even as we speak, that Professor Braun is working on atomic technology with the American military? Do you also realize that each and every day that passes, it could benefit men who will someday be our blood enemies? Braun is a German. He is also a traitor. He must be returned to the fatherland or eliminated. We will know how to capture Braun very soon, Herr Stadt. I want to speak to the rest of the members of your cell immediately. Then perhaps you should be returned to the fatherland. So I can accomplish what you cannot. You have been politicking in Berlin in my absence. There has been no politicking, my dear. 
My orders were given to me by Adolf Hitler himself. We are friends in the old days in Munich before the putsch. I'm from Munich too. And I also know the Führer. Maybe even better than you do. I will talk to the rest of the members as soon as possible. Heil Hitler! Heil Hitler. Tony, are you trying to tell me that there are active Nazi agents walking in this country? We suspect so. You see, ever since the Treaty of Versailles, Germany has been forbidden to produce weapons of war. The Nazis hate it. So they come here to stay abreast of our latest weapons technology, so when the time comes... What about the guys in the consulate? Are they for the Nazis or the government? They are scared to death of what the Nazis might do when they come to total power. They back the legal Hindenburg government. Do you have any contacts there? Sure. Carl Schrader, the consul general. Tony, I need a favor. Call him, tell him I want to speak to him about one of his nationals. Janitor. Who are you? Otto Braun. You should not be here. They'll be angry and they find you. Professor Braun! Professor Braun! Kill the alarm, seal the front entrance. Are you all right, Professor? Thanks to this man. He saved me. Is my experiment destroyed? No, your experiment's fine. The damage looks superficial. Come with me. I hope I didn't cause you any problems. I'll be the same. Bye. How did you get in here? I'm the janitor. I, I saw smoke coming through a vent and entered through the tunnel. Your ID? Did I do something wrong? You did nothing. You did nothing, you saw nothing. You also saw no one. Nothing happened here today, do you understand? Yeah. My heart is falling like leaves from the trees. Bartender calling. More whiskey, please. So goodbye, my love. Farewell. My love, though we must part, you're still in my heart. And now, so it seems, you'll stay in my dreams. Farewell, my love, goodbye. Goodbye, my love. 
farewell, my love. Though we must part, you're still in my heart. And now, so it seems, you must stay in my dreams. Farewell. Farewell, my love. Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen. today, a fine English one. I did something very special. I talked to him today. Who did you talk to? The man in the photograph. This man, Otto Braun? How? There was a fire. I saw smoke and lifted the grid that leads to his laboratory. You know how to enter his laboratory. <laughs> oh, this pleases Ruta. Hmm. Did you find out where he lives? No, but he was very friendly. If, if I talk to him again, I'm sure that you he met would... him and you didn't ask him where he lives. Well, I... I don't think I should allow you to beautify Ruta. Please let me. Not until you find out more. Not until you see Braun again and find out where his home is. Get out! This Wolfgang Stadt is he a suspect in the Wagenholter murder? I believe he is, sir. I believe he is. But I have no hard evidence for my supposition. I want to know if he's still alive. And if he is, his whereabouts. Wagenhalter was a very staunch, very vocal Hindenburg supporter. He was also a friend of mine. If Stadt killed him, then he too must be killed. I'll put my aide, Gunter Spiegel, on this immediately. We'll contact you as soon as we find out about this Stadt. Council, I want to thank you for your time, sir. Mr. Malone, if your investigation involves the Nazis, be careful. They are ruthless people. They will stop at nothing to attain their goals. Well, Mr. Dewey's going to cooperate. He's just having a little memory trouble. Talk to us, Frankie. I'd like to talk to you. But I didn't do it, and neither did anybody else in our outfit. Hey, team in. Federal Bureau of Investigation. Let him go and get over here. Hang on a minute. Wagenhalter's murder had nothing to do with the beer business. I think you're mistaken. Klaus Wagenhalter was one of Capone's best brewmeisters. Are you aware that Wagenhalter was a staunch supporter of the Hindenburg government in Germany? and Chicago's strongest vocal critic of Hitler's Nazis. If you're saying that this murder was politically instead of criminally motivated, you're gonna have to prove it. We think it has to do with a Professor Otto Braun, a German emigre who's doing some top secret military research at Lofton University. This one involves national security and it's ours, Ness. Satisfied? Let him go, Bob. We'll be in touch. It's uh, bigger than we thought. <laughs> Thank you. 
The darkness spreads like fear With lies no one can hear All sense is twisted Yo! Federal agent! Halt! Halt or I shoot! The dogs are howling And it's not too late 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 The atmosphere is lethal But I will fear no evil Card, please. What card? Members only tonight. Come back tomorrow. Franz Koenig, alias Frank King, associate electrician at Lofton University. Wilhelm Stein, alias William Stone, professor of architecture. Heinrich Bauer, alias Henry Farmer, campus security guard. Thank you, Ruta. Gentlemen. The Cabaret Catacomb welcomes our German-American bunt here in Chicago. We're all German and we're all proud of it. And if we're not proud of it, we're not German. In Berlin. There are great expectations. A new Germany is rising. A Third Reich is on its way. Sieg Heil! Sieg Heil! Sieg Heil! Sieg Heil! The swastika symbolizes not only the future of Germany, but its past as well. And the past will be our future, won't it? A united Europe, a Teutonic Europe, as it has always been meant to be. And who will bring our past and our future together? Adolf Hitler will. He will be the man who will lead us. Sieg Heil! Sieg Heil! Sieg Heil! Sieg Heil! Sieg Heil! Sieg Heil! You have the blueprints of all the laboratory buildings. And I believe you have the schedules of the guards of the laboratory complex. So what you're saying is, if something unfortunate were to happen to this Cyrus MacArthur, the chief electrician, then you would be promoted to his position and perhaps have access to the restricted laboratory? I'm proud of you, gentlemen. I'm proud of all your work. And it shall be made known to our leaders in the glorious fatherland and I shall personally make it known to the Fuhrer himself. Hal Hitler. The night is closing and it's not too late. The dogs are howling and it's not too late. Excuse me, I wonder, could you help me? Yes, Mr. Malone was here. Mr. Lepaglia from Immigration asked me to see him concerning a German national, a Wolfgang Staat, who he claims murdered Klaus Wagenhalter. Only there is no Wolfgang Staat. Staat was killed in France during the last days of the war, according to the ministry in Berlin. So, not only is your Malone chasing a ghost, but he also attempted to murder my aide, Gunter Spiegel. Is this true? Mike Malone tried to kill you? Yeah, he followed me. He thought I was this Wolfgang Staat. He called me Staat when I was making my escape. I'm afraid your Malone is quite out of his mind. Mr. Ness, you must do something soon about him before he hurts himself or somebody else. Would you take a look at this place? Malone could sure use a maid. Maybe even a keeper. Yeah? 
Yeah. Medical report. Mike's discharged from the British Army. Listen to this. Sergeant Malone has complained of chronic nightmares and bouts of high anxiety. For reasons unknown, he's developed deep feelings of guilt, personal worthlessness, and as a result, has developed suicidal impulses. It is my judgment that Sergeant Malone should be removed from service. Elliot, take a look at this. Looks like that fellow Spiegel at the consulate. Yeah, Mike's not a well man. He's going to find himself in a lot of trouble. Or maybe if I tell Spiegel. I'll go home down the fort. I got home from Monday investigation on the FBI Aegis EQ Jumps that says stop pursuit. Please call in Mike. And I missed my chance a few months before she died. Not again. Always expect something for nothing, Leo. I found out Braun lives in his laboratory. He never leaves there. Good, Leo. Look here, Leo. Show me where Braun's laboratory is located. Here. I, I entered the tunnel here. Ich habe auch rausgekriegt, dass Wachen auf dem Gang postiert sind, in den ich durch den Luftschacht geklettert bin. Gibt es noch einen anderen Tunnelzugang? Äh, ja, hier durch. Aber das ist wie eine Festung. Dazu braucht man einen Schlüssel. Dann besorg den Schlüssel, Leo. Das kann ich nicht. Der liegt unter Verschluss. Das ist zu gefährlich. Du sollst ihn besorgen. Das, das kann ich nicht. Besorg mir den Schlüssel. Oder ich bringe dich um. Ich hole den Schlüssel. Ich hole den Schlüssel gut. My wife's birthday. Give the bayonet. Search him, Elliot. He's stat. He's Gunnar Spiegel. He's with the German consulate. You've got it all wrong. He's not stat. Now give me the bayonet. Prove to me he's not stat. I'm not stat. Stat was trampled to death in a riot during a push in Munich, 1924, according to our sources in Berlin. I'm going to Spiegel from the German consulate. Mr. Ness. This man has tried to kill me twice. He's mad. He's dangerous. He should be institutionalized. If you can't do anything to stop him, I will. Good night. You all right here? Yeah, I'm fine. You could have killed him, Mike. It's okay. Don't worry. It's okay. Mike. You got to talk. you get the key? Uh, yes, uh, in my pocket. Oh. Good boy, Leo. Give it to me. down beside me, Leo. Mike. I was just thinking about the Great War. November 1918. 
Germany was on the verge of collapse. It was a temporary truce in our sector. Oh, there were a few shells going over, but no one was serious about it anymore. We were going home, you see. Of the original lads that I'd enlisted with, there were three left. Our task was to stay healthy, which is rather challenging when you're living in a sewer, squatting in your own mare. But I was going to get them home, Elliot. It was going to happen. They were just about to ship out. Ah, they were great lads. They'll make great citizens one day. My boys. They'd seen more than their share, and they'd seen more than any other unit over there. And they had such a life in them, such vitality. I loved those boys. When I came back, I found them there. They've been gutted from stomach to thorax. Well, they might hold on now. I held the wells in my arms as he died. And I saw his face going over the top of the trench. I found out later his name was Wolfgang Stadt. His particular signature as he put his hand on his victims and wiped their blood across their face. Elliot, he is alive. He is here, and he will kill again. How do you know this? I can feel it. Just thinking about you. You have the key? I remember the first time I saw you at the Cafe Neumarken in Munich. I joined the Nazi party to be with you. I learned to kill for you, and when I killed for you, I placed that act on the altar of my love for you. And when I die, I'm sure it will be for you because of you. But it hurts me when you treat me as cruelly as you do. I killed Bliss. Why? He was harmless. Because he knew too much. Like you. Mm. <laughs> Incompetent. You never understood. A woman can never really be a Nazi. Stomach to thorax, just like the others. Mike? Braun. 
Micah heard her. She said, Stadt. Who's Braun? He's a professor at Lofton. Stadt is going to kill Braun at the university. Operator, give me Lofton University. I need to speak to an agent Holcomb, please. In the dark before the dawn The echo of the siren song Dies away like a ghost as the day breaks Security has possibly been breached. You have to come with us right no, now. No, I'm working on the most important experiment. Look, I'm sorry, Professor, but your life is in danger. Please, Professor. Jack, take him up to the office for now. I'll be there in a minute. Any other entrances? No. All right. Bliss came in through here once during a fire. Leads to a service tunnel down below. And what's beyond that? Well, the service tunnel connects to a maze of tunnels that runs all underneath the university. He could be anywhere, Ness. You're gonna need some help. No. You stay with Bron. This man's a psychopath. Good luck. Structures rust, false idols turn to dust, all lies in ashes, and it's not too late. All lies in ashes, and it's not too late. Mike? I want to 
would drive a stake through his heart just to make sure. He's not going to kill anybody anymore. This one won't. And I foresee that soon we shall have hundreds of thousands just like him. This was just the first puff of wind of a storm that is going to blow whole forests away. It's over, Mike. No. It's just beginning. Weil wir die Bären wollten, der Ermessen des Kampfes und des Opfers sind in der Nation.